So we are here with a teacher who's from training the Form 1 students who are from a session of DIT. So hi. Hello. So like we have seen you training or like teaching the students. What was it all about? Um, <clears throat> first of all, my name is Uthman Afombe Chigozi, a.k.a. Otto. Um, the session was all about introducing what we call D and T, uh, uh, T and D, which is technology and design. Technology and design, it, it is all about um, letting people know how to think uh, what is missing in our society after thinking of what uh, is lacking in our society so they think and create the solutions for those things that are lacking in our society so what i was teaching them was basically uh, the introducing them towards technology and design and hopefully they've learned something yeah yeah, you have said they have learned something, mm -hmm. but some of your students mm -hmm. have told us they have made aeroplanes, houses, cars. Eh, how was it? Were they like very... The uh, thing is, what they've learned, or what they, they've just had the motivation to make a lot of things, because I've showed them, really showed them that things are easy. So what they've created have motivated them to create other things because right now they are in position to make cars, to, to make houses, to make planes out of uh, some small things like cardboard because it is basically what we've been using to, uh, to make the car. So they are motivated, they can do a lot of things. So if they tell you that you've made a plane, that's what they can do, that's what they do, exactly. We have spoke about the cardboards, but in cardboards we have very different things there are cardboards using boxes cardboards using plain wood mm -hmm. but some of them have said that they can be able to make shoes mm -hmm. jordan shoes crocs what people call scone so are cardboards like plain boards able to be made by so uh basically what the reason why you've used the cardboard is uh cardboards are easy to work with uh, right now, we are still we are just introducing this thing in the school, so we don't have machines to use wood. So the the only material that we have that we can really work with is the cardboard, because we can just cut them with plain uh, razor blades, plain uh, cutters, and what. So it is easily uh, it is easy to work with it. So that is the material what that we've just used in our in our session that we've had, basically. While interviewing your students, we have had a student who's a footballer of the secondary school. So like that, how will you manage him? Because he has to go to the field to train, he has to win trophies for the school. How will he manage the DIT sessions? Um, they have a few, few minutes at the pitch and that uh, child is still young. They have a lot to explore. So being a footballer cannot stop you from uh, being a, a technician somewhere. So these skills, these are just skills because when someone has skills, it's not that he's having something physical that he's holding it, he's holding sports, he's holding DIT. This is just a skill that is in the brain. You just give it, give it to him because even if it, he's playing football, he won't play it to life. He's just going to play football for something like 30 years. The rest of the years, he will be trying to, to do what is what we are teaching him right now. DIT is good because it is just a skill. Someone is just going to, to have that skill. Next time they will be doing football and other things. So they it is it is worth it. They just get it, move with it and do other things. We are speaking of DIT goodness. Oh goodness. So please can you give some like to those people who are out there, primary schools, secondary schools, old curriculum, I think the DIT sessions are for only the new curriculum classes, not so? Yeah. So, like, which advice do you give to those people in primary schools, like in P7, who are going to join secondary next year? And which advice do you give to those people who are in the old curriculum? Um, I think you people should just embrace this. Uh, DIT, it is something new but we really need to embrace it. It is, it is equipping skills towards children. Let us just forget the old stuff because we've had it for long 
and it is really not working out. So just embrace it, just bring it out, let the children take this as the new curriculum, or what, what the curriculum that, that they are supposed to, let, let them just take it, yeah. This has been Atari Shina Cruz, a student of the secondary school and a presenter of MS Oka Training Company. Don't forget to subscribe on our TV, Budo SS TV, and our YouTube channels, Budo Soccer Academy, and our YouTube channel, MA Goalkeeper and Soccer Training Company. Bye bye.